Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Regin here. Today we're gonna talk about how to take pop control as a terrorist. First thing I want to talk about is the utilize in the spawn position. First spawn here, it's very powerful. What you can do, you go directly in the middle here and you simply jump here just to spot or even try and kill the guy running towards pop dog. This will not always be possible because if there's a Molotov here, there's some nades, it's gonna be flashbangs, not reliable all the time, but it's something you can do, especially when you, of course, have seen how the opponent is playing and noticing they're not throwing many nades here, there's something you definitely can do. Another thing you can do, use like the spawn, is running uh, towards pop. Instantly, you just drop down. You might gonna take a little bit of damage, but it doesn't matter. You instantly shoot the guy. You can easily do this, like, I mean, E even I, I can do it, like so you can definitely do it. I'm sure you can. And the last thing you can do, with the Molotov, I'm gonna run here, instantly drop down the ladder, throw like that, and up again. So you're not like in in that much danger. Then you can drop down here, and you can hold it. However, if you're doing it this way, you should be aware, especially on the high level, if you do like this, they're gonna remolar you. And if that happens, you basically have to leave it because otherwise you press it forward and they're already way waiting on you in this angle. So you basically have to leave it. In case they don't, great, we got the pop for free. Of course, you have to be ready on the on the instant flash they're doing. Uh, sorry, uh, in the, through the windows. Now, of course, failed it. Doesn't matter. That's something you have to be aware of when you're in pop dog here. So like it doesn't matter. Like if you're down here, you always have to be aware of that. So jiggle, pick a little bit, or, or play it uh, a bit smarter, you know, so you don't just get caught out red-handed with the flash. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, the Molotovs. Besides the fast Molotov they showed, the actually the only one you can basically do is is this one here. I call it Rob's Molo. You you aim at this area. You have to be pixel perfect. So it's something you have to practice. So just pause the video and see uh, how the lineup should be and try to mimic it. Go practice on your own server. Where you're standing is uh, just on this cross here, and you aim there. Uh, yeah. So what what the mullet is gonna do is the it's gonna burn outside, but also spread to inside. Meaning that if you're here, they have to leave it, or they have to push forward. Now if they're pushing forward, they could also the last thing they could do is of course to de defuse the molo but if that happens then you're also happy with it because then they use the smoke but in case they are choosing to to push forward what you can do is just like you do the molo and right after you do short nades like to to go in space so in case he pushes it's gonna take a lot of damage the last thing you can do and here i'm gonna show in cs and show a, a, a reaction of it so the power of noticing how the opponent is playing uh, in a certain area. For example, we were playing Fnatic, ESL Pro League Finals. Brolin is playing in Pop Dog. I notice if there's a Molo here, he's not looking. He's looking this way. Like he, he don't care about the Molo. So he's just basically looking like that, you know? So he first checks with the legs. Like really, really powerful to do. Show legs first. He gets shot at, goes instantly up again. Now he knows that Brolin is inside Pop. What you're gonna do now is see Kerrigan is throwing a, a Molotov for him. Uh, that's going short, pushing him back. But then we know that, okay, now Berlin is not playing under, but he's not going to focus on that Molotov. And Robin knows this, so he's just going to jump down. He has 37 HP, he don't care. Drop down, kill him, go up again, 14 HP. That's something you can do if if you know how they're uh, playing in, uh, in in a certain area. The HEs that I talked about before, there's like the short HE, like where you wanted to, to nade the, this area here. There's also the deep one where you like to do it a bit deeper so in case he's uh, playing around here you're forcing him out or he's at least gonna take some damage or he's gonna push closer uh, flashbangs there's a few variations here we have electronic flash that we call the mouse you go in the corner here duck and you count the dodge here one two three right click here it's gonna be instant flash he's not gonna be able to dodge it you can see how it looks here like you just get instant blind um one thing you have to be aware of is that you have to mask the sound, otherwise they can hear it easily getting thrown. The way you can do that, by using the windows here, so either you shoot the windows while uh, the flash is being thrown, or you simply spam a little bit while the flash is being thrown, so you can like drop down at the same time, you know? Here it's very important that you make this part of your game, so let's say you're the guy who's controlling Pop Dog, you jump over, you, do, you see if he's close or not, you're gonna spam a little bit. You do this every round, and it's very easy for you to mask this uh, pop flash you're gonna get. You can also do it with the windows, like I said, but the timing has to be perfect, and maybe it's 
you forgot it and you cannot do it later so i always prefer to do the spam here and it, it's really really hard uh, for the cities to hear anything there then we have the last flashes here so basically one place you can do here is a bit yolo again it depends on how the opponent is playing but you can do this to some degree be successful with it but it's not like always uh, a guaranteed one another thing you can do is like a north flash they did like i think it was not doing it they did like this and just drop down because the CTs are gonna hear like first of all the release but also a bounce meaning that they're gonna expect the flash to be bounce uh, popping around here so if you jump down at the same time they're not gonna expect it uh, again it all depends on what you notice from the opponent and how they're playing last things i want to talk about is uh, be creative when you're taking some areas think about how can we do this better, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So for example, one powerful thing to do, like I said before, the Molotov here, really, really good. Uh, and it's something a lot of top teams are using because it's really hard to deal with uh, as a pop player. Um, so it's something you, you can definitely, you, or, or you should add to your game plan. One thing that I thought about, talked about, like, or thought about, you can do like, you can kind of bait the, or fail, quote unquote, fail the Molo. Like for example, like this. So. In case you've been punishing the guy pop a lot, you could throw a molo like that, meaning that they're not playing pop, they're playing defensively, and they will see this molo as being a fail molo, for example. And then you go, you already done pop, you go out and you shoot behind him. There's some theory, I'm not saying this will work, but be creative, and suddenly you're gonna find something that will work, where, like, there's some madness to it, and it will just work, you know? What you should do, like, as a team, of course, use uh, an oasis like I'm doing here. Um, it's basically a program where you can upload demos and see how the players or, or how the opponents are playing. You can mark, now I know like Face Craig and Jerry from Force, it's just an example. I'm gonna go in depth with it today, but you can see like how they're playing pop, etc. So you can see here, they like to pl be really aggressive and play on, uh, almost under the ladder. So it's something you have to be aware of, uh, or also playing this angle over here. Uh, then you, of course, after you see, see it on this, you, you can like take the rounds Okay, so it's round three against K23. You open that in your demos, and you're gonna see how they're doing, how they're reacting. You can even put down uh, like these rounds only and take grenades. Like, what are they doing? If a Molotov comes, you can see like opponents and scenery. If they're Molotoving here, you can you can go to the rounds and see what their reaction are, if they are reacting at all. So yeah, that's basically it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do some more content, and hopefully it's gonna be good. Peace.